guys, it is Arika Misha, and I'm coming to you with one of my famous quick meals. I think you should be able to make this meal in about 10 minutes. Quick and easy. You know what? It's a quick and easy way to cook Alfredo. Y'all know we love Alfredo. My daughter wanted Alfredo. I've cooked this on my channel maybe one or two times. I don't know. But I'm cooking it again because that's what I do. I show y'all what I be cooking. So sometimes I cook stuff more than once. Y'all know how it go. So yes, my daughter wanted some shrimp Alfredo. So y'all already know. I'm finna cook it because I love shrimp too. Alright, but I just wanted to show you guys the, a quick way to cook it. So we have our mula pot size thin spaghetti. I love the pot size, y'all. It's so easy. Just throw it in the pot, you know. You ain't gotta do all that breaking. It's the same pasta. They just, you know, they just made it short. That's that's it. So I just like it. It's quick and easy. Throw it in your pot. All right, and we have our Bertoli. Y'all know I love Bertoli. Bertoli Alfredo sauce. I love this sauce. I have two jars. This is the 15 ounce. 15 ounce jar. I have two of those. They so cute. And last but not least, duh, you need shrimp for shrimp Alfredo. And y'all know our shrimp has been marinating all night. These are the Publix Extra Large Shrimp. With the tail, they've been peeled, deveined. Y'all already know. I check my stuff. Make sure everything all clean and stuff. But I did leave the tails on today. I did leave them on today. On purpose. Sometimes I take the tails off. Sometimes I don't. Let me show y'all them again. Y'all know y'all got to get all in there with the seasons and the whoo-wee. I season it with a little obey. Um, I season it with a little garlic herb. Uh, a, little, uh, a little garlic salt. A little pepper a little parsley and that's it I didn't want to do too much I didn't want to over season the shrimp and then you got this Alfredo season just doing too much you know so all right y'all let's make this quick 10 minute uh, pasta shrimp Alfredo let's go all right guys let's make let's make this quick meal all right so as you guys can see I got my water over here getting ready to boil so I can just throw those noodles in I'm gonna go ahead and get my stove on here up front where this pot is and this is where I'm gonna get my alfredo sauce in here like i said i'm gonna use both jars because i like mine's real creamy put a little water in my jar so i get all my stuff i pay for y'all know how i do put a little water in my jar so i get all the stuff that i pay for groceries is too high to be leaving stuff behind groceries let me repeat that groceries is too high for me to be leaving anything behind I pay for no ma'am no ma'am all right we got our two jars going in there and today I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a little milk sometimes I add milk to my Alfredo sometimes I don't but today I'm going to add a little milk because you know why I want my Alfredo really creamy today really creamy get my stove fan on but like I said, I'm going to add a little milk today because I want my um, Alfredo sauce really creamy today. So you guys see I added the two jars here. Let me go ahead and add my spaghetti noodles and see what I mean by the pot size. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen these in the store by now. See, I love it. It's just pretty much half a noodle child. They just broke the noodle in half. And I dropped my noodles one way like that. And then I mix it up and drop them another way. This so they don't stick together, y'all. Let me cut this eye down. But it's soft, start boiling. Yeah, that's how I drop my pasta noodles in. I just kind of zigzag them. So they don't get all stuck together. I'm not going to do the full box. I'm just doing half a box. Because, you know, you don't, really, you don't really need a whole box. Well, I usually don't do the whole box. So, all right. So we got our pasta in there and as we can see our sauce is already starting to do the little blub blub thing so we just gonna get that sauce our sauce heated up I'm gonna go ahead and add a little milk because like I said I want it creamy and that is about half a cup of milk because you know the alfredo sauce is thick this is going to be a quick video because I can cook alfredo in like 5 or 10 minutes so only 10 minutes because those noodles got a boil 
and the noodles take about 10 minutes so but the trick is the shrimp you guys saw the shrimp they were already pre-cooked shrimp I ain't gotta cook the shrimp all I gotta do is add y'all will see how I do it quick alfredo you can eat shrimp alfredo anytime because my daughter always talking about mom I want shrimp, al shrimp, shrimp alfredo I mean sorry y'all <laughs> my daughter always about mom I want some shrimp alfredo hmm okay I had to learn how to cook it quick 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 for real so as you can see by adding milk to the alfredo doesn't doesn't do anything to the alfredo it just thins it out makes it a little bit more creamier you're still gonna have that alfredo thickness and taste you know let me taste that oh yeah oh yeah that's good just makes it more creamy get these spaghetti pasta mixed up here gotta make sure you're moving that pasta you don't want it to stick together so that's why I zigzag my pasta and that's why I keep my pasta stirred up you don't want to you don't want to stick together because y'all know especially spaghetti love sticking together I don't think so not on my watch all right so we stirred that up real nice and good ain't nobody sticking together everybody getting all done over there oh right and like I said I got the heat down on my sauce sauce tastes good it's nice and creamy as y'all can see let me show y'all it's nice and creamy nice and creamy not too thin not too thick but it's nice and creamy I didn't want like a thick thick you know thick thick sauce today so that was about um, half a cup of milk I added half a cup of milk that's all I needed I ain't need too much was that about a half a cup yeah that was a half a cup of milk that was about a half a cup yep so quick and easy took about two minutes to get our sauce heated up <clears throat> excuse me it took about two minutes to get that sauce heated up now only thing we waiting for is those noodles to get done over there once our noodles this is just how I do it you can do it any kind of way you want I can add the shrimp to my sauce which I think I might do um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and add my shrimp to my sauce but the thing about it is I don't want to add my shrimp to my sauce now because you guys already know these shrimps are already cooked we don't need to cook them again they already cooked so I'm gonna wait for the pasta to get done I'll add my pasta to the alfredo and then once I get that mixed up real good I'll just throw my shrimp in that's it the shrimp gonna get heated up from the sauce and the noodles and there you go you got pasta you got shrimp alfredo in about 10 minutes bam that's it that's all all right guys when that uh pasta gets through over there i'll be back all right y'all y'all know i had to come back and show y'all why did i forget to get the the uh garlic bread out it was still in the freezer anyway yeah y'all of course i gotta have the garlic bread to go with the shrimp alfredo hello so y'all know i got these if y'all saw my public haul i did get the texas toast five cheese oh i love the five cheese package farms too but go buy one get one they was on sale y'all hope y'all saw my public haul but anyway yes we do have two boxes of these let me tell you me and the girls we love garlic bread especially my um 11 my 11 especially my 16 year old she loves garlic bread just the girl loves garlic bread so i always get like two boxes sometimes i'll get one if it ain't on sale, I'm going to get two, you know. If it's on sale, I'm going to get two, but anyway, yeah. So, I got the two. Oh, let me spray. I forgot to spray my pan, y'all. Hold on. I got to spray both my pans. Duh. I'm all, I'm all over the place this morning. All over the place, Lord. All right, let me get my oil, spray these pans. Y'all know I gotta spray my pans. So nothing ain't stick. Pasta is boiling over here. That pasta's almost done, y'all. I'm telling y'all, quick five, 10 minute meal. 10 minute meal. And like I said, it's only 10 minutes because the pasta take about 10 minutes to cook. So that's the only reason. The trick is getting the um, pre-cooked shrimp because your pasta don't take long at all so 
that part don't even matter. It's the shrimp. Get the pre-cooked shrimp and go on about your business. All right, got that laid out. Ready in five minutes, it say ready in five minutes. Make sure y'all see that. Ready in five minutes. So it ain't gonna take long to cook the, the garlic bread either. You just put this in the oven while your pasta and your sauce getting warmed up. I'm telling you, Alfredo with garlic bread in 10 minutes, come on now. See, pe people don't like to admit it. We do not have, and I say it all the time, we do not have all day to be in the kitchen. We don't. As parents, we don't. Like seriously, sometimes, you know, I may have that kind of time to be in the kitchen. You know, if I get in here real early and, you know, mm -mm. but sometimes I just don't have that kind of time. Honestly, I don't. But of course, I can always, come on y'all, let's not get it twisted. I can always prepare a meal that takes an hour or two. I mean, of course, I can make time. But I don't really have time like that all the time. People don't like to admit it, but hey, I don't mind admitting it. I don't have all day to be in the kitchen. I don't. Between life and everything else, I just don't. So that's why I like coming up with little quick ways, little quick ideas and quick shortcut ways to do things. Ain't nothing wrong with a shortcut. Nothing wrong with it. I ain't hurting nobody. As long as you don't hurt nobody, it's all good. So, all right. Y'all see I got my Texas Toast garlic bread already. So let's get this in the oven because I got the oven preheating for this. So let's get this in the oven. All right, I'm gonna stick this in the oven. Looks like my pasta's looking good and done over there. I'm gonna let y'all sit right there for a second. Uh, throw my Texas toast in the oven. All right, we throwing that in there. Yeah, this pasta's done. Pasta is done. I'm cutting that off. Get ready to drain my pasta. Drain the pasta real quick. Let y'all sit right there. So y'all can see how easy, how easy this is. Draining my pasta. Ain't gonna take but two seconds. Let me make sure y'all can, can see the right way. All right. Let me bring y'all in a little bit more to this pot. Cause I'm gonna bring my pasta and everything over. My shrimp. I'm gonna bring all that over. <clears throat> we finna be done with this but yeah and then once the heat gets to your sauce and that milk and the alfredo sauce it just becomes so creamy so nice and creamy and the, and the sauce isn't so thick you know so you get that nice creaminess on your noodles not that thick heavy alfredo sauce but like I said sometimes we like it like that sometimes I'll leave it like that, won't add milk. But today, today I want a creamy sauce. A creamy sauce today. All right. Okay, noodles. All right, our noodles are finished draining. Get this pasta dumped in here. Moon pasta. Moon pasta, baby. All my stuff, all my stuff that I paid for, all my stuff. That pot hot, that pot is hot. Okay, so y'all see we got our pasta in there. Got our pasta, let's get the pasta in there. Take my fork and just mix it up. That's it. And y'all already know I'm going to add some parsley to this. Because this is looking a little pale. Y'all see how pale this sauce is looking. It's pale, y'all. I got to add some greenery to it. We got to add something to it. Just a little. A little too pale for me. Need some color. Nothing wrong with a little color. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. All right. Got our pasta in here. And see how creamy it is on the pasta, see? See how all nice and creamy that is? Your pasta's all nice and coated with the Alfredo sauce. I'm just letting these two meet first, and then I'm gonna add the shrimp. So, I'm telling y'all, quick 10 minute Alfredo. So easy. 
or your pasta. Heat your sauce. Add your already pre-cooked shrimp. And that's it. And that's it. That's all. We got our garlic bread in the oven cooking at the same time. You done cook shrimp alfredo and garlic bread in 10 minutes. Don't play with me. Honey, don't play with me. All right, so we got our pasta sauce and the pasta all nice and mixed up. Y'all see it. Looking delicious. Let's add our shrimp. I'll get on in there now. Now, y'all see in my bowl, I still have like some seasons and stuff. Y'all already know. I got to get all my stuff. Get all your stuff you paid for. All your stuff. Get all my seasons in here. Because they going to help season your sauce up too. Give your sauce a little bit more. All right. So, got that in there. Add some water to that. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so. All right. Okay, so. Let's get back over here. Go ahead and get these shrimps all mixed in here. Oh, yeah, this is going to be great. Let me make sure y'all can see. Hold on. Let me, let me bring y'all in. Give the people what they want. Oh, oh y'all can see. All right, hold on. Okay, y'all love being in my business. Stay out my business. I ain't got no business for you. <laughs> Ooh, I be tripping myself out. Ooh, y'all, that looks so good. And I forgot, I did put parsley on the shrimp, so it's giving it some color already. Ooh, and my Alfredo sauce is gonna get that Obe flavor. <clears throat> y'all know what I say, Obe, cause he's an Obe. <laughs> Yeah, he's an old bay. Yes. So that um old bay, that <clears throat> that garlic, onion garlic, the regular garlic, the garlic herb, all the seasons that I use on my shrimp gonna get mixed up in this Alfredo sauce child. Ooh wee. I'ma cut my heat off. Cause everything already hot. Our sauce is already boiling. The noodles just got out the hot water, so they're nice and hot. Cause you don't want to make these shrimps feeling like they're getting cooked again. Cause y'all already know what's gonna happen. Your shrimp is gonna shrink. Don't give me no shrunken shrimp. Ha! <laughs> y'all like I said that? Don't give me no shrunken shrimp. Cause I ain't gonna eat. I don't like when my shrimp be shrinking. Y'all already know shrimp costs about five dollars just for one shrimp. Even the seafood done got out of control. The seafood was already expensive. Now the seafood is out of control. That's why I get the shrimp when they on sale. Uh-uh. Ain't paying no $30 for a bag of shrimp. Oh, no. It's all right. Y'all are going on sale eventually. I don't care nothing about it. Eventually, y'all going on sale. Oh, y'all, look at that. That looks delicious. I gotta bring y'all over so y'all can really see. I gotta really bring y'all into the pot. So y'all can really see how that look. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Oh, yes. All right, y'all, that's it. We cooked this shrimp alfredo in about nine minutes. Well, no, the pasta took 10 minutes. So, 10 minute, 10 minute alfredo, y'all. That's what I'm gonna call this. 10 alfredo in 10 minutes. That's it, that's all. Y'all see me do it. So y'all know I did it. Stop playing. Y'all know I did this. All right, y'all. Just trying to help y'all out. Giving y'all little quick ideas, little quick meals. Because we ain't got all day. All right. Oh, wait. We got the garlic bread. Oh, shit. Garlic bread in the oven. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know I got to at least show y'all the garlic bread. Sorry about that, y'all. I be. Y'all know. Y'all know I be moving. I be getting it done, boo. I be getting it done. See what our garlic bread looking like. Looking good, that garlic bread. Ooh, look at that garlic bread. Delicious. Yes, five minutes. They right, it only took five minutes. So, all right, y'all. Y'all see the my other pan. Ooh, it smells so good. It smells like nothing but straight up garlic and cheese, y'all. Garlic and cheese. Mm. Ooh. All right, y'all. I can pull both of these out and send them to the side like that. Y'all ain't gonna burn me. Y'all ain't gonna burn me, please. I don't think so. 
I don't think so. All right, y'all. Okay. All right. Let me zoom y'all out. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Bye.